Bonjour chers parents, la direction de la santé publique a décidé de fermer l'école secondaire pour deux semaines. Retour le 20 octobre, et ce dès maintenant. Merci de votre collaboration. So I got an email from her school, they said that Mimi has to isolate for 14 days. She has to eat and sleep in her own room, use her own bathroom. She pretty much can't go anywhere and just stay home for 14 days. So they said that there are cases of COVID all over her school in all the classes. <laughs> yeah, so we got to call her to like her right, home. Go yeah, and she's got to stay home really. Like you guys can't even be, they even said for her to wear a mask in the house if we get within two meters from her. Damn. Wow, shocking news, guys. Um, I mean, we all live in the same house. So, I mean, if she has it, we, there's a chance she might have propagated to us already. Nobody has symptoms. We've been tested about... They went to be tested like last week, actually, and it was nothing. It's kind of scary, right, guys? I don't know what to do. Like, we're going <laughs> to feed her a little plate under the door. It's like, here, ma'am, here's your food. <sighs> 2020. All right, guys, let's go get her. I was just looking in the park and couldn't see her, so I don't know where she's at, and I'm not sure she's in the park right now. We're gonna go see if we can find her. Just found her. She's right there. Let's go get her. She's already with friends, so we're gonna have to break the news to them. Ma'am, come here. Did you bring me a mask? Yeah. Why? Your school just called. They closed. You have to be quarantined for 15 days. So you're gonna have to actually live downstairs with your mask in the house for the next 14 days, for real. Nice prank. No, no, it's not a prank at all. I'm serious. I'm really, really serious, for real. <laughs> I'm very serious. Yo! No, no, hey, no, I'm serious, Mimi. It's true. <laughs> Put this on right now. <laughs> okay. It's not a prank. Yep, it's sure. very real. Yep, sure. My school might be closed because a doctor got it. Uh, not a doctor. A teacher <laughs> got sure? it. I had to come get you. In the house, you're going to have to wear your mask and you have to sit downstairs. That's pretty serious. You prank me so intense. I am not cancer. pranking you. I swear to you, it's true. It is not a prank. It's very you real. You could have got me a better mask. Like, this one's so okay, big. Can you put it on? <laughs> I have no trust in you. I am telling the truth, I swear. All right, guys, so I just broke the news to Mim. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect that, but she did not believe me. Somehow she thought it was a prank. Now, the hard part is to get them apart because they don't believe it. They're like, oh, you know, having fun. They think it's funny. Oh, gosh. All right, guys, I'm going to bring her home and I'm going to put her in her room, lock the door, feed her bread and water. Then I will take care of her. Hopefully, she's not sick. Everything is good. Knock on wood. Let's go back home now. Also, Mim was telling me that actually they have a whole plan at school. I was not aware of it, but apparently they have a whole plan of things that they know they have to do, right? Yeah, so I'm going to have like a class, which is like an hour and something. And then we're going to have a little like a period, like a little part. In like 15 like, minutes off? 15 minutes off and then another class and we're going to have homework. So it's a normal school, just online. Okay, guys. So So let's go. Clean my room, I guess. It's a mess. Inside. I prepared Mimi's own bathroom. She has her own towel, her own toothpaste, toilet paper, everything she needs is in here. You have your home private bathroom. Are you, is she pink? Did you tell her? Yeah, yeah. She thought it was a prank the whole time. I still think it's prank. Oh, we're gonna take out the bed in my room. Ow. Oh, we have to clean this. Because <gasps> that is a lot of work ahead of us, guys, seriously. Well, gotta do what we're gonna do. Whoa. You scare me, you virus. All right, so let's get, let's get it started. So, Ooh. This, Bathroom hasn't been used in a how long? Uh, maybe a year. More than that, I think. There's like dead flies and all crap around here. 
So here's the thing, there's a lot of things we have to think about, guys. We have to make sure she has her own utensils, her home plates, her home cups, her own everything, basically, because we don't want her to use a cup, then we use the same one upstairs and we end up being sick, right? But for the next 14 days, this is the way it is, because otherwise we're all gonna be sick. <laughs> I just realized that that's one of those things where one thing's bring you to another, and then and you realize that the work you were planning is actually way worse than you're expecting. Now that I want to move this, I want to move this into that room here where it used to be the oil tank and the washing machine, but I can't because there's already a lot of stuff and it's very badly placed. So I'm going to have to clean that room first before I clean that one. <laughs> This is something we should have been doing for a while because we needed to get that space organized because I don't know if you guys know that, but there used to be an oil tank here. We just switched everything to electric. There's no more oil in the house. We needed to do that, organize that. How it's gonna be done. We have to put a dryer on top of the washing machine. I'm gonna put this on top of this now. I'm all done with this. Just put all the electricity back on the wall. I don't know, I saw some splash. Woo. This is actually lighter there than you this go. one, right? Way lighter, we would have never lived that. Okay, so. Now the machine's up. Now let's clean, organize, and move more stuff in here. Woo! This, we're gonna need them soon, guys. That's coming. Bathroom is finally ready. Wanna see? No, leave well, it clean. I, it has please, ma'am, can you back up, please? You're way too close for me. Look, it has to match in my no, room. No, it doesn't, ma'am. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's it. We're done here. So we went to get Mim's school supply at a school because today they said that we could come in, pick up all her things so she can do school tomorrow at home on the computer. Now that the other one, the first one is in confinement, what do we do with the, the two others? <laughs> They're still going to school, right? Um, that is not clear either. What's clear? Mimi lives alone? Well, Mimi's gonna have to come out of her room. We cannot leave her in her room forever for no reason. She doesn't have any symptoms, right? Good morning. Here's the thing, we got the message that says we have to confine Mim on our own room and the email that we received it also says that we have to confine her but then now we're going to school to pick up our things and then there's the students themselves come to pick up their bags and their, their books and everything so we're kind of a little bit confused. Yeah, it seemed like no one cared. <laughs> Maybe we don't have to be so like serious. Like I was yelling at Mimi like, get in the house. She was like going across the street to talk to the neighbors and I was like screaming at her like she had like some horrible like leprosy or something. Yeah, so and I she think has no, just too much. And she has no symptoms really. She doesn't have any symptoms right now. Like yeah. now I think we're not gonna let her out of the house to visit friends. I think that was totally fine what she did. But we're gonna keep her in the house and I think we're gonna let her just walk around as long as she stays two meters from us. Because um, two weeks is a long time for someone who's 12 years old, like to be in your room eating, she was eating her meals in her bed, like we would leave her food next to her, like her staircase, so. And what I'm worried about is that it has an effect on her men mentally, psychologically, that she gets, that she gets damaged psychologically by depraving her from her freedom. So. I think we're gonna slow down a little bit. We're gonna let her walk around, see if she ever start having fevers and everything. Then we're gonna put it back in place, but that's my vote. I'm casting my vote. 
not feel like a prisoner. Seriously, like it's so sad. Bim? Yeah? I want to tell you something. Yeah. I talked to your mom, uh -huh. and based on what we saw at your school, kids were not wearing masks and everything. There were some of your friends that were came uh -huh. in. You don't have to yeah. confine yourself anymore. So just stay like two meters away from us until you have symptoms. There's no reason okay. to confine you. Do whatever you want. Okay. Broke the news to Mim. She's very happy. She's going to be able to come out and uh, enjoy dinner and everything. Thanks for being there, guys. We love you. Thanks for supporting us. Give us a good thumbs up. Subscribe. Do the whole thing. We'll see you guys in the next episode. And until then, never give up.